This will scare you, Mum. It'll also get you off games, too. This black eye is made out of red, green and yellow grease paints. Ah! An old classic for getting out of things that you don't particularly want to do is the old thumb in a matchbox trick. Ah, my thumb's come off! Ah! So, what do you think of that, then? Well, if you want to get out of school, I mean, one good thing that you could do is a bit ex more extravagant is... Uh, oh, no, that's, that's unpleasant. There might be people watching this programme. How'd you do that, then? Well, funnily enough, a Look little um, trial-sized um, washing up liquid bottle. That's amazing. There we go, so um, that's a, a nice little trick. Another thing you can do is if you're going to um, try and bunk off school, mm -hmm. pretend you've been shot. Oh, of course. Happens school. every day, doesn't it? And what you can do is you can affix a little, a little sort of uh, plasticine bullet wound to your head. Uh, do you know what a bullet wound looks like? Have you ever seen one? No. You're just guessing, aren't I'm you? I'm just guessing. <laughs> Thank you for that. It looks a bit dry, <laughs> so if you keep your head tilted back, stick a bit of this ice cream syrup in. Oh, just a touch. That's what we did. And then... Hang on, just a touch. And this is more. to fool a teacher, is it? It certainly is, and I think they'll be very fooled by this. Yeah, but that means you've got to go to school with your head tipped back like this that. This is the drawback, but then when you come into school, you've you got a stiff neck. Dear miss. Miss, I've been shot. Ah, oh, that's unpleasant too. That's, uh, okay, that's Does fine. it hurt? Does it hurt? Nope. No, it doesn't. It falls oh, off. It all falls off. Because after all this trickery, <laughs> jiggery, pokery, we boys are feeling a bit peckish, so we've made some blancmange. Well, not quite blancmange. Um, it's actually brain tissue. And, um, well, it's actually toilet tissue, to be honest. It's um, got a bit, of a, uh, a bit of a blend of mushy toilet paper and food colouring here. So it's quick, cheap and economical. Yes, and, it look, and highly <laughs> disgusting. You so. should be on Richard and Judy, really, shouldn't you? <laughs> Please, miss, my brains are falling out. I think um, anybody would be highly convinced by... Uh... I, I'm convinced already. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Hi, we're here at this perfectly normal household to see if we can convince whoever lives behind this door to try a different kind of gore. Yeah. Have you ever considered changing your blood type? I was just feeling some fish. Now that is sick. Well, it's good that you're wearing white, because white, of course, is the best colour for showing up all manner of blood substitutes. And our first one today is the old classic tomato ketchup. Give it a good squirt. Oh. It's very good, but not quite popular, you know. Yes, well, it, it's not quite blood red. It smells a bit bad, and uh, but it does wash off easily. Well, that's cool. Next up, we have this marvellous um, blend of um, ice cream syrups, yeah. such as um, strawberry, yeah. raspberry. We have the best of the bunch, just old plain food colouring water. It rates very highly on the splat factor. But I tell you what, this isn't going to come out at 40 degrees centigrade, is it? Well, then why not swap your old powder for new Brill Clean? Brill? Yes? Why is water wet? I have no idea. Because the seaweed. <laughs> Keep young and beautiful, it's your duty to be beautiful. Keep young and beautiful, if you want to be loved. Don't fail to do your stuff, with a little powder and a puff. Keep young and beautiful. Here's fact number 127. There's a fish called the lamprey that sucks blood from its victims by using its tongue as a straw. Now then, you might, uh, might want to ask your grandma or grandpa to go out of the room, not because we're going to show you how to make one of those nice birthday cards like they show on Blue Peter. No, this is uh, probably the most disgusting part of the programme, um, and uh, not uh, because it's particularly gory. It's just one of these little things that really uh, upsets people. You all know the joke, uh, what's green and travels backwards. <laughs> yes, I think you know where I'm coming from. Um, perhaps uh, you want to give the impression that you've got a head cold, a really bad head cold that you haven't actually got. Well, there's 
A few very simple ways of doing this. Uh, just take a, a, an ordinary handkerchief like this. Say, Bub, I can't possibly go to school today and do double bats because I've got a terrible cold. <gasps> uh, and there you have it. You see, it's as, it's as simple as that. And that's just your common regard mushy peas, which means it has a two-fold effect. It means it looks very good, but it also means that you can do that. Mmm. Mmm. Which will really turn their stomachs. <laughs> Spotted. <laughs>